guys, welcome back. My name's Trish, if you don't already know me. I work at Schumacher Racing and I look after many drivers um, who have many questions um, and, and help them with their cars and stuff like that. Check out my previous videos. Um, obviously I've put a tag up somewhere of some of the other bits that I've done that might help you with your racing. Obviously I work at Schumacher Racing, so this is a product that I'm always gonna promote and try and um, get you to, to run. But in this instance, I'm going to be talking about lipos and LRP lipos, in fact, um, is what I'll be going down the route of. But we'll be talking about the storage of these lipos. That's the key important thing. These are the G4 lipo. If you haven't seen these before, these are the LRP product. Um, Lautenbach Racing Products is what it stands for. And Jürgen Lautenbach is the guy that is, you know, the MD of this company and he runs... Um, it and is fantastic at what he does. He does a range of speed controllers, motors, batteries, as well as a whole host of things. So check out their website. Um, I've got it up here. It's www.lrp.cc. Check it out. Have a look. See if there's anything on there that you like. It's all great. Anyway, lipo voltage. What do we store these lipos to? Well, I wasn't exactly sure what the number is. I always used to think. It's well, if I do a run, it takes it down to 7.4 volts or, or something like that. Um, who knows what you put it down to? So let's speak to an expert, speak to Jürgen. Um, and so I called Jürgen uh, the other day and I asked him what should I discharge them to. And he explained that at the World Championships for the 12th scale, uh, which is I think January time this year, which is fantastic, um, Obviously, they're dealing with the one cell lipos, but they want to get the maximum performance out of these lipos because over the run, a lot of energy is sucked out of them. And so, what he explained was obviously when you, you're storing them to the next day and you're trying to take great care of these lipos, um, he looked at an optimum number, which meant that when they got to the next day, the performance is as great as it could be, um, even on like the first cycle, let's say. So through his work, he found that 3.83 volts was the best. He laughed when he told me this. He said he knows it sounds like a, a strong number, but that's just the number he came to that was working the best. But he did explain that between 8, not 8, 3.8 volts and 3.9 volts is the area that you want to aim for. So that's what you charge up to. So you're going to discharge your LiPo. So you get your charger on, you're going to put it onto discharge mode and discharge. Some of yours might do it at two amps, some of yours might do it at 20. Either way, it's gonna take it down, and I'd say take it down to a good seven volts, bring it down there. So then when you put it back on charge, you can watch it work its way up to that voltage, and when you see it there, unplug it. Some of your chargers will actually let you charge to a certain number. So I want to charge it up to this. You've also, some chargers have storage mode, which you can then select what you want to charge it to as well. So based on what charger you have, I have an LRP, I can set the exact number of what I want to charge it to per cell and it will be fine. So that's what I'll be doing anyway. Don't forget to put it in a lipo bag. They're very important, these lipo bags. They keep you safe. If anything goes wrong, um, it's in here. But obviously, if anything goes really wrong, you want to get this thing out the window and to somewhere apart from on you. Um, normally, having a bag or not bag, uh, a bucket of sand is very handy. You can either pour it on the table or uh, you can dump it inside the sand and take it out to kind of vent off. Um, lipo management is very key and important. Um, an important thing to talk about is if you leave your battery charged at full voltage, what I've found over the years with various kind of manufacturers of batteries, it doesn't matter who it is, if you leave them fully charged, there's a lot of energy in there and you might get swelling from that. And if you leave it with no voltage in there for let's say no voltage equals six volts, you've, you've really used everything out of it. You can get cells drop if you leave it over time because they can't sustain that nominal um, number of where they were that makes them comfortable. So get them into storage mode, um, go and put them in somewhere, somewhere safe after that. And then hopefully we get out to the track soon and have some fun. If you haven't already, click subscribe uh, for my channel. I appreciate everything that um, I hear from people feedback wise and it's nice to try and share something that helps you all. What 
I um, do um, get a kick out of is when I do see someone at the track and they let me know how it's helped them. Um, and I also like to know well, what would you like to see on future videos. Um, I'm never going to do anything controversial. I'm a guy that's kind of pretty chilled and I want to do videos that would just kind of give you just help really. I'm not going to go and uh, moan about various things, I'm just going to help. Um, so if you need any help with anything, let me know and I'll put that in a future video. Anyway, look after yourselves, keep your lipos safe, keep yourself safe, um, don't get yourselves up poorly and uh, we'll see you soon. Bye.